You guys, I am so excited about today's episode of Inside Her. I got to talk to Courtney of Texas Thighs. She is absolutely killing the game on Instagram. She, of course, has all of her spicy pages. I will have her link tree down below. Please go and check her out. This is the kind of conversation that is exactly why I wanted to start this series, talking to different people who are in the OF or sex work industry. Again, make sure to go and check her out, and I hope you enjoy. So it's been eight years ago. I started the Instagram kind of, it was a joke kind of, dare between the hubby and I and he would always take pictures of me take pictures of my butt whatever so we started posting and we're like okay let's do it Texas size was born I kind of just grew really fast um back when you could kind of grow on Instagram <laughs> really fast and it just kind of blew up from there and it was a lot of fun and I mean I loved finding inspo pics and recreating them and trying new things and stuff it was fun to feel sexy I am a mom I am busy and um we were having a lot of fun with this hobby, mm -hmm. but it was kind of like, well, could we make money from this or whatever? And actually before OF was a thing, I started texassize.com and had my own subscription website. Um, and that went really well. It was very successful. And so whenever OF came on, it was like, no, I got my side. I don't need it. At first I was kind of like, I don't need it. It's fine. I got my own thing. And then we're like, wait, there's like a ton of people over there. <laughs> How's it all changed your content and your process over the last seven years? Well, we've gotten a lot better at <laughs> the quality <laughs> of it. There's sometimes I still left like some very early days pictures. Mm -hmm. um, I liked being in control of what I put out there um, and having my own place on the website basically was how that kind of started. Instagram list to delete stuff. Um, or take you down or whatever. And so the website was kind of like where I could put what I want um, and not have to worry about it. It's, it's still within my boundaries. I'm kind of, yeah. I'm kind of tame for some of the OF comparatively. So like, I think it's sexy and I think I push my own like, you know, boundaries right. sometimes. It's nice that you can kind of present exactly how you are and people are like, this is exactly what I was looking for. Yes. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's, played really well there's a lot of fans that like I said been around for a long time that love like the teasing and the like long like play into the stuff because I feel like people like sort of burn out in this industry whether it's like I'm just sick of it or people lose interest because there's like not a further point to push I love that it's like seven years in I've been doing it for four now and I feel like you do have to be very creative to like find new ways to keep people interested and yeah. like have them kind of develop along with you I would see my friends doing other stuff too I was like okay I gotta try this out so I'm way late to the customs game I just started doing customs like a month ago um so that's been a whole new era of fun stuff and different things and some crazy things. What's your favorite custom you've gotten so far? Do you have like a, a little niche that you like to stay in? The main ones that I get is like the strip teases, say their name and things like that. That's kind of, and that's kind of fun. It always feels very like um, sexy. You know, it makes me think of like, different style but like the burlesque dancers and stuff you know it's kind of yeah. you get to kind of be sexy and fun and strip down I get to sometimes they pick the outfits sometimes I get to pick the outfits you know I find it's easy to say no like I find that everyone is always so respectful when it's like okay I can do this part of what you want but this is a little far so instead let's do this your fans know who you are and what you like and what you're about so I feel like whenever I am I'm like oh, okay that one's too much they're like Okay, I get it. Okay. Your fans for a reason. They're yeah. giving you their money. Like it's because they like you, they like your content. So I think they're usually really respectful and nice about it. On and it kind of reinstills a little bit of faith in humanity that it's not just <laughs> like I'm selfish and I view you as an object. It just it keeps it more fun and less feeling yeah. objectified. You started this with your husband. How is it kind of like played into your relationship? Now, of course, we are full-time just us. Like, we get to be together all the time. Obviously, that is great most of the time. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes we're kind of, you know, annoyed with each other. But it was sexy. It was hot, you know. Um, so I think that kind of spiced up some of the sex life, you know. Like, we had great sex, but I think, like, being able to, like, get sexy in that moment. And he's like, oh, you look hot. And I'm like, thanks. And, you know, we've been married for 20 years. So it's nice to be able to, like, 
be able to like date each other still. Yeah, because yeah, my my partner, we have been dating for just over a year. And I think that was one of the things that I was the most concerned about getting into it was like, okay, you like the idea of the OnlyFans thing now, but when you're actually in front of me while I'm replying to people or talking to people or doing a custom, like when's the other shoe gonna drop and you start to get jealous or you start to use it against me and like this is the one relationship that it's like you are a full-on supporter and you love it you think it's badass and I love it (laughs) it's it's crazy I think I think that would be very hard because to your point it is there's a lot of people they're either a right away against it or there's people that are like oh no, that's cool. I'm totally cool with it. But then yeah. I've seen other people in relationships be, it's cool until it's not cool. Until something yes. triggers something or, oh, well, wait, that's too much. Or the outside world can be harsh to people. And I feel like having someone to be able to lean on and that has helped us both when we both are frustrated by totally. that. Aside from your husband being a support, like how else do you deal with the backlash and the comments and just like people at the grocery store? Yeah. Um, so to my face, everyone is a thousand percent nice. I've yeah. never encountered anyone rude. I've never encountered um, anyone. I, everyone is always super nice. And if they do like recognize me, I mean, people will say hi, people take pictures, people buy us drinks people, you know, whatever, people are really nice. Um, Or like if I meet someone new and then like a friend or something, and it's like, when they start asking, what do you do? You know, you never really know how that's going to go. And everyone's usually really nice about it. Or other people stumble across an interview or something I didn't like, Courtney, I didn't know you did this. Oh my God, this is great. The online trolls, I, we learned very early on. People love to just get online and release all their hate and issues and whatever whatever is going on bad in their life they love to get on and there was times like especially early on like we would like try to get into it with someone like oh wait no don't tell me this da, da, da. and then you're just like and they would respond back and like never mind this was a waste of time so the online hate it's a block and move on I don't I don't Mm-hmm. I don't deal with any of it. And yeah. at least the people I've found in person, it's a lot more coming at it with curiosity versus like judgment. Yes. Which yeah, like, yeah. I love that. I love talking about it. I love educating about it. If you come with a question in a respectful way, I will answer whatever you want. It's, I know it's kind of crazy. Cause like, even whenever I went from like my, cause I don't do actual pornography. I don't mm. do like sex. I don't. Um, and so it was funny whenever I did go from just my website to also OF, like one of my good friends was like, oh, does that mean you have to like actually have sex now? And like people that don't know, they're like, oh, dang, like now you have to do it. I'm like, <laughs> to that point too, like being on that platform, since there is so much and so many different creators and so much different types of content, um, it's opened me up to, to like trying new things and stuff, which has been fun. Like biggest two questions that you get from people. The biggest two questions. Is it weird? Like, do you feel weird? They feel to them, right? Like, oh, that looks cool. But wait, if if I was doing that, would that be weird? Like, I think they get that feeling Mm -hmm. of, could I take my clothes off in front of the camera? You know, I don't know. I guess everyone always asks like what my family thinks. My, I've ran into a lot of creators that, have great relationships with mm-hmm. most of their family or whatever um, through this. And mine actually, it was kind of weird. Growing up seeing Playboys, I worked at Hooters, fun things like that when I was young. Um, and so whenever I started just my Instagram, um, I got some serious backlash and I was kind of surprised. I got treated pretty Partially, especially by my parents who have always been really open. I was been really close with them. Everyone, so when people ask me that, they're like, wait, no, your parents know. And I'm like, yeah, Yeah. like people that know me and know my parents are really surprised. I think that was definitely a surprise to me in general. But overall for family, going back to the family question, there's been a lot of family that's been really supportive and great and come around. We have our group, we have our people And I think that's kind of what it did is open my eyes to who your real family and support and people are, you know, Um, because 
if you can't support me being me all the way, then what, what are we doing here? Exactly. And it's a job where you have all the power, where you can say yes or no, you can quit at any time. And you're setting your family up to like live a life that is so worthwhile and so special. And like, I feel very lucky that we're kind of in this era of this being available. I'm a bolder, stronger woman from it, but then I also a better mom. I can I've been able to be there with them even more, take them on trips they never, I would never have been able to do before. So whenever it's like, well, what does your family think? Well, the family that supports me is amazing. The family that doesn't, well, sorry for them. And that is it for the video, you guys. Make sure that you thumbs up and leave other questions, things that you want to know in the next episode down below. That is coming in two Thursdays from now, and I'll see you then. Bye, guys.